I, I think that Robert Bella was quite right when he diagnosed the major cultural force in the United States as utilitarian individualism. And I think that has a whole religious sort of ancestry uh, and we'll just sort of leave that defined as such. And perhaps what the Jesuits at our best moments, not at our worst, but at our best moments, what we can offer is a lived alternative, a lived example of an alternative lifestyle. Uh, I think that in the history of the society in the United States, we've certainly seen that some communities and some provinces and certainly some Jesuits have been tempted by that type of individualism and that sort of a utilitarian approach, uh, pragmatism, uh, competition. We want to have institutions that are high quality. We want to have excellence. And in our desire to be mainstream in our desire to be accepted at the table finally, uh, to, to get into the good country clubs, to get into sort of good society and not be excluded as the mackerel snappers, um, we're tempted to leave behind the best that we are and the best that we have to offer. And I think that within that whole social doctrine tradition over the last hundred and some odd years, has been this personalism that, that human beings become human insofar as they move into deep, loving relationships with each other. That human beings become human insofar as they give themselves to, to each other. That they develop themselves in the gift of self to other. And that human beings are not basically individuals. Human beings are persons. And persons are divine, defined by being embedded in relationship. Relationship with God primarily and then relationship with, with neighbor. And who is neighbor? Neighbor is the one in need of relationship, in need of love and care. And neighbor is the one who's going to return love after having been gifted with it, friendship, uh, support, cooperation. There is a great deal of hope, I think, in the society these days. Um, we're obviously moving through a, a period of time where there's a certain kenosis, a corporate kenosis going on, a self-emptying. Uh, we are fewer in number and oftentimes the institutions that we created and grew over the years have, like adolescents, grown up and ha are now young adults and are moving off in their own directions and are abandoning us. Um, and that's fine, that's fine, that's a, a nice sort of Christic moment to live. Uh, but I think that if and as the, the Jesuits in the United States can be true to that founding charism of us being companions in the Lord, of being friends in Christ, uh, if we can remain truly members of apostolic communities where we do common projects, where we my educational efforts flow into it and are interwoven in the educational efforts of my brothers here in, in the house. Um, team, we team teach courses, we run programs together, we attend each other's lectures, we cooperate and collaborate, and, and we simply take delight in each other's successes, and we commiserate each other in our failures, and that there's the possibility of modeling a sort of a, of a friendship and a sort of community um, which offers a healthy Christian alternative to the kind of finally crushing individualism that leads to loneliness, uh, that leads to a sense of disconnection from community and disconnection from God that is so much a danger, I think, in, in contemporary American society.